cryptocurrency scams, hacks, and other fun events all speak to the Wild West nature of the cryptocurrency world, where people are after your funds. Let's talk about the numerous risks, how they happen, and more importantly, what you can do to not be hacked, scammed, or lose access to your cryptocurrencies. First, let's talk about avoiding the Carlos Matoses of the world. No, no, no! The scammers. Sending 0.5 Bitcoin to a random person on Twitter to get one back is a scam, which brings us to our golden rule of common sense. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Some specifics. Any send me X to receive double of X is a scam. Most cryptocurrencies that promise you massive interest in a short amount of time are a red flag, though there are some legitimate services gaining popularity like Coinbase and Exodus, but these realistically work and can scale, unlike the more obvious scams that become Ponzi schemes. Generally speaking, you want to stick with the trusted open source technologies with a reputable name to them. You also want to make sure you're choosing exchanges with a good history, since exchanges screwing customers is unfortunately more common than you might think. Finally, if you're unsure about a provider or technology, check out their team. See if you can email them and ask more about them and their history and whatever their project is about. Avoiding scams really boils down to how thorough you want to be before deciding to give your money to someone or something. But even if you avoid all scams, you're still at risk of being hacked via a legitimate service. There are three major concerns in the Wild West. Phishing attacks, exchange breaches, and targeted attacks. Phishing attacks are people impersonating something legitimate. A hacker can create a fake Coinbase website identical to the main one, then mass email users with this fake URL until someone accidentally submits their account credentials to the attacker. There's really no foolproof way to avoid phishing, but here are some good things to do. Use a browser configured for privacy and security. Many browsers nowadays have basic protection against well-known phishing sites. Check out our video covering our top browsers. Be careful with URLs. Always double check the address bar before you log into a service to ensure it's legit. Be careful with emails and texts you receive. Keep in mind that spoofing emails and numbers isn't terribly difficult. Never click links sent to you via these communication methods and make sure to manually log in to view any alerts for each account. Always stay up to date. We recently covered a phishing attack on Surveillance Support, our news podcast, that was made easier due to a bug. Newer versions of browsers have patched that issue along with other previous issues that made phishing easier. Next, bookmark and use your own URLs when logging into accounts. If you use a password manager, add the URL to each service and only open websites from there. And finally, phishing is ultimately about trying to trick people. So always assume something isn't trusted until you can verify it is. The second concern is exchanges, the sites you use to purchase and exchange your cryptocurrencies. First, choose a trusted exchange. Dig into their history, read into their security practices, and feel free to contact your support team as well for follow-up questions. We'll talk about more anonymous exchanges later. Second, use a password manager to create strong passwords for these accounts. We recommend Bitwarden and KeePass, two open source password managers. Uh, we also have a video comparing the differences between them that'll be below. Third, 2FA or two-factor authentication is another must for these accounts. If account credentials are ever breached, having 2FA enabled may be what stops an attacker from stealing all your precious funds. Fourth, ugh, do not store your cryptocurrencies in exchanges. If there is one thing you take away from this video, it's to stop using your exchanges to store your cryptocurrencies. Exchanges control the private keys to your funds, not your keys, not your coins. You want your coins, so be sure to move them to a secure wallet. We recommend Electrum and Samurai Wallet for Bitcoin, My Monero, or the official Monero wallet for Monero. There's hardware wallets like the Trezor, which are great. And shit, even services like Exodus are still better than leaving your funds on someone else's exchange. Cake Wallet and Monerujo are two other fun options. The next major risk we'll cover are targeted attacks, where people try to go after your information or assets directly. This can take the form of malware, which targets cryptocurrency users, social engineering attacks, or in the most extreme cases, governments tracking down specific users. Protection against all targeted attacks requires a large amount of time and effort as it includes everything in your life, from your home security, to which operating systems you run on your phone and your computers, to how you protect all of your accounts. It's just so 
broad since being targeted means everything is up in the air and all techniques to break into your life are on the table. The most likely threats you'll face here are social engineering attacks, so that's the bulk of what we'll cover. Some might be difficult to avoid like rogue support agents collecting the personal information of their employer's customers, but the most prevalent form of social engineering attacks is phishing, which is receiving fake URLs, forms, or phone calls designed to trick you into revealing your personal information to the attacker. We already covered some phishing tips, but here are a few more. Never give support staff or anyone remote access to your machine. Never give out your 2FA codes. Never give anyone your password. And these are just a few basic steps. I would strongly recommend watching our Become Anonymous guide, as well as our four and a half hour epic course, Go Incognito, to learn more about targeted attacks, since it's a very extensive issue to deal with that really requires you to understand this stuff. The last risk is the secrecy of your funds. This is especially useful for people who want to or even need to hide that they own cryptocurrency altogether. This could be because cryptocurrencies are illegal in their country, maybe they're a person of interest, or maybe they're a public figure, making them an easily targeted individual. Ultimately though, we recommend everyone watching shoots for secrecy since it is something worth fighting for. KYC, or Know Your Customer Laws, are implemented by most cryptocurrency exchanges to verify users' identities. This marks a major privacy violation and really should be avoided at all costs, as really just a last resort option. What you want is to go with exchanges that have no KYC. Most notably at the time of this video, Local Monero and BISC. If you want more anonymous exchanges, but crypto to crypto only, check out ChangeNow.io, SideShiftAI, and FixFloat.com, all of which currently have a good reputation. Something else which may come as a surprise to you, but cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin aren't really anonymous. By default, all transaction logs between users is public. We talked about this in a secrecy guide we put together that you should go check out in its own video. However, cryptocurrencies like Monero are as close to anonymous as it gets, and it really should be one of the only currencies to touch if utmost secrecy is your priority. For users stuck on Bitcoin, consider using the Lightning Network and or tools like Samurai Wallet, or just convert the Bitcoin into Monero using the tools we covered earlier. Privacy and security is just so important nowadays, especially when it comes to protecting your financial assets. But we hope this video inspired you to take your protection to a whole new level, and if it did, check out our Become Anonymous guide in the description to learn more about this entire field because it's just so much. Fun. Finally, I want to give a major thank you to Seth Simmons for helping us out with this video. He included several of his expert recommendations and advice for us to make sure you get the best info possible. Check out his website in the description, as well as his brand new podcast teaching you how to opt out of our surveillance-driven world. He actually interviewed myself for the first episode if you want to see that interview, and all of the other interviews since then are just spectacular and are getting better and better as he goes. Check out his stuff down below. We also want to give a massive thanks to our patrons, join below for exclusive perks, and we obviously accept Monero donations as well, so check that out below too to support us through Monero because it's awesome. See you next time on TechLore.